so um red red white goblins the hairy goals did get reached that's why i've got my nice my nice wonderful smooth face here today so what do we got? We got typical goblin-y stuff. Some decent synergies here. But white cards are Radiant Destiny. Green Tree Control, the Chosen type have 1-1. One, one. If you have the City's Blessing, they have Vigilance. Some Conclave Tribunals, and then some Response Resurgences here. So Core, Mono Red Goblins, Small, White Splash. Let's uh, dive in and see how it goes. What's my opinion on the card? Excellent Bind. I think it's very good. I think it's anything other than Green Black. It's quite fantastic. It's very good against the... The Drake stacks in the format. The mana can't support it, Dingo. That's why. That's why I would not work it. I agree with you that Golden Demise is better than Fiery Cannonade, but the Grixis deck only has ten black sources in the mana base, so you just can't play. You just can't play Golden Demise. Did the deck list get updated? It didn't. Let me do that really quick for you. Things clipping along here. One, two, three. It's just Goblin Mentry. What would it be? Do you have? Do you remember if you have a newer Pirates video than YouTube on your chair? Well, if you go to my wonderful website and click Standard Decks, you'll find a ton of fantastic playlists up there for Blue Black Pirates. We actually played Blue Black Pirates first thing this morning, and we've definitely played it more recently than October. Whirly boy up in your base. Mixing chains up in your face. Do 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 Road in the car to IHOP for things. Is IHOP open today? I mean, I guess it must be. What are we? What are we doing to my goblin? What are we? What are we doing to my goblin? They have a trickster. They have a trickster. Don't don't fall for their trap cards, chat. Don't fall for their trap cards. Oh, I should have played this pre-combat, so that way if they trickstered me, I could attack then. Yeah, I, I potentially missed a point of damage here. Because if they counterspelled this, I then could have attacked with this. All right, no harm, no harm, no fall. This card dude destroys a colorless, non-land permanent, or a deals two damage to something. The artwork on that is uh, interesting. Look at that. Sniffed out the merfolk, chat. Sniffed out, sniffed out the merfolk. I missed Grixis Dragons to the archives. What's going on, Tub? It was a good set. It was a good set. We we made we harvested a lot of tears from Just Sky players. I'm gonna go ahead and trade this off here. I think we're the control deck in this matchup. I think we're the control deck in this matchup. Pretend I wrote something funny. Make sure I look good. Let's go on to Paris. 
Oh, look at that. It doesn't let you click through. It doesn't let you click through. That's such a good interface improvement. That's such a good interface improvement, chat. Chain boy! Whirly boy up in your base! Whirling chains up in your face! Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo 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 Easiest way to get banned in my channel. Do something that gets you timed out and then come back and do the exact same thing. Just really weird. I feel like I shouldn't have to say that, but here we are. Is this Siege Gang Commander out matchup? I feel like it is. Is there a reason Mono Red decks don't play Zerum Void? Yeah, this card right here. Also, like, yeah, this, this card mostly. I'd rather have Bane Fire than Conclave Tribunal. Yeah. I think this is fine. It's basically like removal spell, removal spell lands. And like this helps eventually, but like seems reasonable for us. Like I said, I'm pretty confident we're the control deck in this matchup. And then I'm not gonna attack with this fanatical firebrand because I wanna be able to hit this if they try and put curious obsession on it. Boop him, boop him on the nose. They want to burn a dive down here. I'm fine with that. This card's so good in standard. I feel like if you have mountains in your deck, there should probably be four lava coils in your 75. That was quite phenomenal. Lines up well against a lot. Kills a lot of things you care about. It feels like a counterspell turn, right? I'm going to play Radiant Destiny this turn. Because it feels like they have a Wizard's Retort here. And I'd rather not this have this get counterspelled. And like, I don't want to play a two mana spell out here because playing a two mana spell out means I won't be able to double spell next turn. So this lets me use my mana this turn. So up here is fine. Should we have killed it during our turn if they had both dive down and curious? If they have both dive down and curious position, I'm probably dead. So I'd much rather like, like especially with the lava coil too, because, like, if they had Curious Obsession plus Dive Down, they'd, like, play the Curious Obsession, I'd kill it in response, they'd Dive Down in response, then they'd draw one card, but then I'd untap and get to do my thing. Man, this is, like, incredibly bold. Just, like, play out two X1s against the, uh, the Goblin Chain Whirler deck. Boop! Boop him on the nose. I have a pretty hard time racing Legion War Boss here. This card makes goblins for days.
ATZ FTG. Thank you for the brand new Prime Sport. You're shipping your Bezo Bucks this way this month. Welcome, welcome. So, do I run my Legion War boss into a potential Merfolk trickster here? I think so. I think that's fine. Rasta 1985X. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good Thursday. Good Turkey Day if you're in the United States. It's possible I should have played Crater Maker pre combat because then I could have shocked this Merfolk trickster before it eats my war boss, but I think that's fine too. I don't know, like. Like they trade here, they go to 16, I get to lava coil this, I have crater maker left around. So like, I feel like I'm in a pretty okay spot here still. Like they have two power, they have four more health, but like they have two power in play and I have, I have five power in play. What are spells, chat? That's fine. That's why you get to play best of three. Spell there overrated. Screw generally beats Flood. If they stay stuck on two lands, though, we might be able to run them down here. Yeah, I do. I do have Bane Fires in my deck. Yeah, I, I warded in all three of those. Seismic Assault. That one's pretty good. Wow. Way to exclude me. Pretty unfortunate. Two for ones us on this board. All right, Poppy wants the Bane Fire. That is not, it's not the Bane Fire we wanted for Christmas. Crater Maker only sacrifices itself. You made me do a double take there. I thought for a second that I'd missed something. Crater, Crater Maker, Crater Maker only sacrifices itself. Yeah, like Wh Whirly Boy at any point, Bane Fire, like a lot of good ones here. Probably just Bane Fire isn't out now though. I assume they have a counter spell here. So three Bane Fires in, you know, 44 cards. Oh, the cookie crumble sometimes. That's how Magic the Gathering goes. started my write-up on the MTGA shuffler. Clearly, clearly it is broken and needs to be fixed. Damn MTGA shuffler. We're getting a perfectly good batch of magic. You never draw that many lands in paper. I always make sure to stack my deck to ensure that that doesn't happen. Damn MTGA doing actual random instead of letting me stack my deck. I think I'm gonna play this train whirler post combat. Am I? What do we think about chain whirler here? I kind of like it. I 
That's probably too aggressive. I'm just gonna pass. It's not really a one for one. Yeah, I'm just gonna get destroyed now. Ugh. Whoa, that worked. All right, I wasn't, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared for that to work. I wasn't. I wasn't prepared for that uh, that to work. All right, all right, that's not responded. Yeah, res response, respond. I mean, those those do like different things, right, Brad? So, what do I want to resolve more? Would I rather resolve Legion War boss or Chain Whirler? What do we think? Which of these, whichever one I want to resolve more, I want to play second. I think I'd rather resolve Chain Whirler. I think I'd rather resolve Chain Whirler. Like, Chain Whirler races them pretty hard too, unless they have Jin. Like, Jin's the only thing that Chain Whirler doesn't keep up with. And even that, like, Volley Veteran. Bye, friends. The Chain Roller animation is such a good example of just like a fantastic animation of this game. Just like very subtle, quick flash, like doesn't disrupt the gameplay. Yes, this application auto taps your mana. You can still manually tap when you want to, like I can click on my lands to tap them and it'll float mana in my mana pool in the center here, but usually you don't need to do that. Oh, my goblins are so tired. They are so tired. Such sweepy widow goblins. Maybe I should have played Flame Tongue Kavu last turn. I don't know. We go either way on that. on the nose, flame tongue Gavu, kill your guard. Pop goes the mono blue player. Do 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 beep 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 do 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 I'm gonna stand up for the next match or two. My legs are getting cramped. My legs are cramped means I've been sitting too long. Enjoy the ride, chat. Knock my roll of paper towels over. I'm slovenly and I eat at my desk. Throw a random artifact question at you. Sure. I don't know that I'll be able to answer you. I've only played a little bit of it. Yeah, they have a league style type thing where you pay an entry fee and you play through for prizes, but they also have a ladder system where you can play without throwing in money. 
The last time I saw you without a beard, Jace hadn't even ruined magic yet, right? You're going to buy things at the shop, and let's say you buy an item from the secret shop, and then you complete the buy phase of the items, the same, no, they all, they all rotate. My kids were completely unimpressed. They just was like, yeah, it's dead. I think we're jamming turn two war boss against Swamp Swamp Discovery. They're probably a ritual of sub deck anyway, so I'd kind of just like to like start generating critical mass. On the nose. Yeah, it looks like it could be Mono Black Lantern. Did they been anything to give us insight? They are definitely playing Mono Black Chromatic Lantern. Ritual me, baby. Oh, so we're dead. I think we're dead. I think we might have died. Yeah. Scary prospect is like bad land worlds. I don't in many ways. Full of reactive cards looking really bad against the control deck. What do we got, opponent? You can find all of my deck lists on my website. Click standard decks at the top. That is not the land that I wanted for Christmas. This is probably fine. They probably got another ritualist in here anyways. Uh, Prana Conquerors is a temporary buff, whereas Radiant Destiny is a permanent buff, which is relevant. Save seven mana here. Sure. Nine mana now. Yep. 
White source. White source. Alright, we're going to three. The opponent, the opponent's demon lords have been good to us, that's for sure. They have 11 mana this turn. Too much fumble and die. A little bit too much fumble and die. Speaking of fumbling and dying, how we doing, folks? Welcome. Hope you're having a good Thursday. Good Turkey Day for the United States. <laughs> Magic Arena decided to take a little bit of a nap, so we're uh, gonna kick it back up here. Thanks for hanging out today. People have been asking about my shaved face. My shaved face is because we hit the goal of people checking out 100 people checking out the Harry sponsors or Harry's razors. I'd like to help get a nice, close, clean shave using code Jeff Hoagland at bit.ly forward slash Google shave. You can save five dollars in your brand new starter kit with them. Remember, just because you like playing the degenerate decks doesn't mean you need to look like it, chat. All right, sounds like Arena is back live again here. We'll do a full show later. Let's uh, get back in here and finish this up, shall we? The Vanquishers banner matchup. It's probably better than this. Seems pretty clean. Let's do it. How long will I keep it shaved for until it grows back in? I like having a beard, it keeps my face warm. It's cold in the cornfields, chat. The air on my face, it does not, it's cold. The air on my face is cold. <sighs> Magic. Yes, I look younger, that's because children can't grow beards. Onward, upward, backward, forward. We've actually played a deck a lot like that, Busy Bureaucrat. You can find it on my YouTube channel, and you can, if you don't have time to watch the entire video, it should only be about an hour though, you can always skip to the end for the wrap-up segment. Jeff, who's just finished playing something, is always going to be more informed than present Jeff, who's played a lot of things since then. Watsi's making an esports announcement in December for Arena. They haven't confirmed that. They said they're making some kind of competitive magic announcement then. Is that a different person playing the mono black thing? I think have lands this time, so we actually get to play magic at least. Oh, they're playing blue black. Okay. I was like, this is a different username. This might be a game where we get to use the Resurgence half of this. All right. Am I playing around Ritual of Soot? Nah. So, Chain Whirler. Chain Whirler, kill your thing. Attack for seven. Like if they don't have it, they're just dead next turn, even without the response resurgence. Boop. Boop him, boop him on the nose. 
Lava Coil seems appealing. Frenzy sounds great. Banner sounds great. Response Resurgence seems a little bit medium. Do I want do I want Lava Coil or Conclave Tribunal? Lava Coil is easier to cast. Probably makes it more appealing. Let's try this. I don't like Banefire against the discard based control decks. It's obviously very good against counter spells, but against discard based control decks, it leaves a little bit to be desired in my experience. It's pretty good. Real decks have curves, chat. Real decks have curves. Let's get him. Sideways, goblin monkey. Go, go, go. Arr. Do I pay attention to magic lore? I do not. Guild gates. Ugh. CG Commander actually seems really sweet against these black decks because it goes wide, which demands Ritual of Soot, but then it, it itself is a five cost card, which gets to avoid Ritual of Soot. Probably see one of these two go away, depending on what the makeup of their hand is. Prospector, really? Okay, weird. Mush. Interesting that they left that in against our aggressive deck. Is Bolas a bad guy or is he just misunderstood? is going to be a good one. You know, if we ever get Hannah to cast it. I'm just misunderstood. Checking in here. Oh, man. All right, mountain. Mountain. Well, if we'd have hit a mountain there, we probably would have run away with this game. But uh, that being said, I think we're probably dead now. Yeah, Doom Boy's pretty, pretty, uh... The variance has not been kind to us playing this deck. Around 23 lands just had, like, mono drought or flood so far today. I'd like to know if it's in a good spot right now. Modern right now is the same as it's been for a while now. If, if you played Modern two years ago, it's not that different today. The format is full of very linear and degenerate decks. There's a small subset of fair interactive decks you can play, but I think they're worse than a lot of the linear decks that exist in the format. People disproportionately register the card Celestial Colonnade, even though it's really pretty terrible. If you're interested in ducking in and seeing some sweet and good modern decks, you can find them on my website. I have them sorted by power level on there with a bunch of useful search functions. It seems really good. Just needs a third land. I feel like I've said that a lot today for this deck. And definitely just running a little statistically below average so far, I think. Like, we should not be missing as often as we've been missing in our in our 23 land deck. Yeah, it's possible you get some mono black stuff out of Orzhov that could improve the zombies deck. Power level is always format contextual. So Celestial Colonnade is not good, because it's not good in modern. And that's the only format it's playable in. It's not playable in Legacy either. <laughs> 
Man, the beats have been bad. Goodbye, friends. Like, we've missed our third land drop every game, and they've had Ritual of Soot every single game on four. <sighs> Thanks, Punk Rock. Yeah, there's a lot of people that like to talk about cards in the ultimate sense, which is why, which is why so many people are afraid of certain cards being unbanned in modern, because like they think like Stoneforge Mystic is always good, Jace is always good, all these cards are always. Good. It's like, well, it's not really how card games and like game design works, right? Like how good things are is in relation to the other things that exist. <laughs> No, blue-white control is under the proven section on my website because people do consistently do well with it at tournaments. Which is, if you read the different sections on my website, they're defined in, in a way that makes sense, I think. Rather than arbitrarily making up tier numbers. People arbitrarily making up tier numbers really annoys me. We've been sabotaged. Well, they're, they're flooding and screw generally beats flood. So maybe we have a chance here. Ooh, that's a blood operative. I guess, uh, Whirly Boys are going to be pretty good against Blood Boy here. I think they have to keep some counter spells in against us, because their deck can't beat an Experimental Frenzy most times. Third War Boss is the charm. I shaved this morning because we hit the Harry's goal last night. Who shaved you? Who did it? Let's go to Hyperbite. Thanks for the four months. I only have one card left here. It gained a lot of life back though. I feel like I feel like this is our horse in the race, chat. This this little goblin, he's got his dagger and he's going the distance. What's going on, Trex? A rogue. Thanks for the 29 months. That's such a long time. Welcome back. Red Hawk, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime support. Just gonna put my 3-3 into play. Thank you for one. How do you put a stop in the game so you can kill Warboss before you go to combat? You can either go into full control mode by hitting control plus shift here and popping this up here, or you can click on the main phase. Look at him go, chat. Boop, boop him, boop him right on the nose. All right, third chain whirler. The third chain whirler always gets some chat. Well, we 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 screwed this game, but they they flooded pretty hard. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna try this to start. Get rid of this permanently. These risk factors should be lights out. Please, my friend. Screw beats flood. Yep, it's pretty, pretty traditional. Gobble, gobble, go tree. Sure. I 
I've got four lands in my hand, chat. This is more lands than I've seen in entire matches. We did, in fact, make the Harry's goal. We did. We did, in fact, make the Harry's goal. Oh, this is one of the games where we don't draw spells. I got you. I got you, fam. I understand. I was I was worried we were gonna have a mix of the two types of cards. I was I was concerned for a moment that we were gonna play an interesting game of magic. That one. Kill it. Kill it with fire. They do sell wild cards. For every six booster packs you buy, you get one rare wild card. So basically like buying wild cards. I think it's worth doing this for doing this early. More affordable than Magic Online is a pretty low bar, to be fair, though. Uh, take this hit. <sighs> Packs on Arena work out to be about a dollar. What happens to standard cards when they rotate out? They are gonna be introducing a new magic format here soon. So by next fall, we will have a new non-rotating format. Yeah, I agree. That's honestly the fact that, so like I've been playing a little bit of Artifact and I really like its gameplay, but I don't really wanna get involved in another MTG Finance Cartel, just like the the finance aspect of card games is just like kind of kind of annoying. To me personally at least. They are one, they're one mana away right now from casting that stupid giant dino, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill this because it puts them two off. They didn't triple block because I had Siege Gang Commander in play. So triple blocking is really bad. Cast Flame Tongue Kavu. Yeah, collection progression is one of the things that's fun for a lot of people. I... Interesting, okay. Why did they have black cards in their deck? Or they're just playing that just for find? Please move the veteran and commander together so their fingers are touching, lol. Yeah, I agree. I agree. They would have found black mana by now.
God, God bless you, Conclave Tribunal. So you're dead. All right, what am I doing with my life? This is really bad that they played the branch squid arbor things. This seem okay. Need to cut two cards. Legion War Boss seems pretty bad. They gum the ground up pretty well. Leave a couple in because they're good with Siege Gang Commander. Okay, I like that. Seems fine. I feel like we're the control deck in this matchup, and this hand plays the control real well. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this. Yeah, especially with drawing another coil here. She blocks my two twos really well too, which is annoying. I was like, I was hoping they didn't have anything to play there. They had a thing, but Whirly, Whirly Boy, Whirly Boy is still going to get his victim. God, anytime this 3-3 first striker is like a flame tongue combo and kills something, it's so gross. It's like, what if I killed your thing? What if? So I'll probably go Coil plus Greater Maker this turn. Technically, it's optimal to play these things post combat, but auto pass value chat. Don't forget about auto pass value. It's a big one. And he's hungry. Perfect. Race this. Come at my goblins. We shall lay siege to your forests. We will burn them to the ground. Like attack with all of these and then sack the one they block. Target you, sacrifice you. Down to nine. Smush, smush, smush. Smush, smush, smush. Smush, 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 smush. Are they dead? Yeah, they're dead on board, right? I make a goblin, they block two, I throw four. Yeah, they're dead. No, the response resurgence hasn't come up. Oh, right, I get a, get a mentor trigger too. Yep. 
Yep, yep, yep. They understand. They understand where this is going. Big dumb diners ain't got nothing on our uh, smoky boys and girls. Tiny green. Tiny red green people. Gonna get them. How are we doing, folks? Thanks everyone for dropping by today. Welcome. If you're a new viewer, my name is Chef Hoagland. Thanks for dropping by. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Hanging out playing some standard here on Arena today. This wonderful Red White Goblins deck, like many of the decks we play here on stream, is a viewer submitted deck list. So, big shout out to all my viewers as always. It's in lots of sweet things to play. It's fine. Needs a third land, but fine. Probably want to instigate her on two if I so if I want to radiate Destiny on three. Look at that! The coveted third land. Gobble gobble sloth. How many games do I play with the deck? I play a minimum of two matches with the deck when it's submitted. And I play the deck for up to an hour and a half usually. So the maximum number of games that we play generally depends on how quickly a game could win, but I always play a deck for a minimum of two matches. You can find Full details on how my deck submission process works here, as well as find a link to the deck queue that has all of the wonderful upcoming decks that we're going to be playing in it. Will Grawl have goblins? Maybe. I like this one. It's okay. It's doing something kind of interesting. I think this list actually came from a, a 5 0 moto dump at one point. Man, Whirly Boy is good. They're playing blue block control. I don't mind stumbling on land as long as we get to the uh, land number three. Land number three is most important. The standard format is the best format of magic I've ever played. It is very, very good. And if Rast is content me, sure. They end up at nine here. Just gonna go ahead and put lethal into play here almost. No, it is lethal, right? Because these are three threes. They didn't have ritualists at last turn. If they have ritualists at last turn, they probably would have pulled the trigger on it. So definitely just gonna like if they draw it, they draw it. Best format I have ever played. And I'm not just talking about standard formats, I'm talking about magic formats, period. Um, so they're gonna take seven down to two here. Innistrad RTR was previously my favorite format, but I like this one better, I think. Innistrad, Innistrad RTR had a lot going on. So I, I can actually do this and then Crater Maker kill this. I think that's fine. My friend. These red aggressive decks tend to line up really well against the, the blue black decks in my experience. Playing both sides. Like playing the, the blue the blue black side, it also feels hard from that side. Alright, interested in Vanquisher's banner. Happy Thanksgiving, Jeff Chad. His standards very, very good. What's going on, Jersey guy? Thank you for the two month three sub. Welcome back. Do I want some amount of lava coils for killing their their Dorko? Maybe. Do this. If you don't mind this, I'm gonna split these with the Banefire. Maybe. I don't know exactly how I want to split these up necessarily. You know what? Regardless of, I also was of the opinion that like. The play design team is probably something that should have happened long before it did, but at this point, they finally did it. It's having positive results. Don't smack your dog once it's finally learned to stop pissing on the floor. Don't don't remind it of all the times that it's peed on the floor previously. Just be like, you're a good doggy. Keep doing the good thing. How much influence has the play design team put into it? Probably a lot. No, I'm not I'm not familiar with any of those players. 
I interacted with a couple of them, like Dan Musser was someone that I knew from grinding the SCG tour from back in the day, but a lot of those players there are not players that I've ever interacted with. My expectations for Artifact were very low. I think a lot of people were overhyping it by a lot. Um, outside of the card cheating death, I like a lot of what Artifact has had going on. Um, Valve's mismanaged a lot of their beta stuff though, which is a little annoying. So I don't, I've kind of like, my expectations, like I've, it's been forever since I've used a Valve product. So like I've, like Counter-Strike Source was the last time I played a Valve video game prior to, prior to Artifact. What does cheating death do? To put cheating death in magic terms, it's basically a an enchantment that you can play on turn three that says whenever one of your creatures would die, flip a coin. If you flip heads, it doesn't die. It just like turns a game that like otherwise has a lot of really interesting decision points into it into this giant RNG clusterfuck. Just all right, sorry, giant RNG cluster. Just it's real. It's really not enjoyable. Which I like a lot of the rest of the game, but like that card alone, and for people who are in the closed beta, that card's like a format staple. So, yes, it's powerful and frustrating, creates really uninteresting games. They're just like, well, why am I, am I even making decisions here? We're just gonna flip coins to decide who wins, anyways. All those Harry Shills did pay off. We hit the 100 conversions. I think we got like 102, actually. So I assume they don't plan to get this back since they left me the Lava Coil. They haven't Ritual of Sooted me yet. If they've been holding the Ritual of Soot, they've played this really well. But I feel like they would have done it last turn. But I guess I also had CGN Commander, so like maybe, maybe they would have waited on it. Sweet. Let's wrap, let's play one more with this. I've been going for about an hour, but I'm gonna do one more. Get the, get the full smorkening. We're gonna play one more match with the Red White Goblins deck. We'll do a short wrap up on it. And then um, we will be uh, wrapping up the day with some green black elves, couple of tribal, couple of tribal beat down decks to wrap things up today. And honestly, the it's not even just the volume of playable decks that make this format good, but a big part of what I really like about this format <laughs> is the fact that the decks that we know are good have a lot of variety to them, and even good players don't really... No, it's permanent. It's an enchantment, basically. It's um, cheating death... Or sorry, what am I talking about? This format. Um, the good decks don't even have established best builds of them. So, like, there's a lot of even really good players. Like, you ask them and they'll have different opinions on what the best decks are in the format. If we had a land tier, this Radiant Destiny might let us pressure them. All right, is this card gonna do something? I feel like this card, my 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 primary feeling on this deck so far is that the white cards just are dumb. Like, I feel like the white cards really haven't done much meaningful for us in this, in this set of games today. Yep. Would you play mono red instead? I think so. War, War boss with Radiant Destiny is pretty good though. Okay. 
Maybe, maybe this card's worth it. This is the first time we've had a good draw with it. So, we did, we mulliganed to five this game. That's an Aurelia, yep. Thoughts on Thousand Year Storm combo decks. They, they don't really work with the timer on, on this application. Are they dead to a removal spell here? So this kills this. And I can't attack with everything here, unfortunately, right? If I attack with everything, they go block, jump, take six. And then I die to these two on the backswing. It's not seven. They block the three and the three and then take six. Chat, they have two, they have two blockers, chat. They have two blockers. This had vigilance from the Aurelia attack. I think I need two blockers here. It's a pretty defensive block on their part. Peace, Loam. Have a good one. I'm going to be done here soon anyways. And do one more one more set of games after this. Healer, Hawk, Reed. Ugh. spell. Even that won't do it. That's a close game. Close game for a mold of five. Radiant, Radiant Destiny almost pulled it out. Did I miss the city's blessing? Did I miss the city's blessing? I had... Yeah, you're super right. You're super right. I held the land to bluff and I forgot that this had city's blessing give vigilance. So if I would have had the city's blessing, I would have gotten to attack with two more things. Yeah. Yeah, if I'd have played, if I'd have played the land out, we would have had five and five, and then I had vigilance to attack with everything. Yeah, that's a good catch. All right, moving on to games that we still have to try and win. Trash Master seems pretty good just as a Lord effect. I guess this kills Aurelia. Conclave Tribunal seems a little bit slow. The mentor trigger didn't matter. The mentor trigger was relevant. The fact that I could have attacked with everything was relevant. They weren't, the mentor trigger didn't kill them that turn. They had two blockers. I think Chain Whirler turn three on the play is good enough that I'm just gonna keep this. Like I have four lands guaranteed, so we're pretty likely to play CJ and Commander on five. Yeah, risk factors for decks that are looking to go long. It's for matchups where you're going to have time to play the three cards that you draw with it, if they let you draw three cards with it. Play an Adanto Vanguard, please. Show your mother-in-law that when you're sassy in Twitch chat, you get a 10 minute break like a sassy child. <laughs> uh, Legion landing. Really wish they would have played that one last turn. 
Would like to draw two or three drop this turn. Yeah, I guess that counts. That'll be really good with CG and Commander, huh? I guess uh, Siege Gang's really good with this too because it creates four permanents, so it lets us get, uh, lets us hit the City's Blessing pretty quickly. Sure, just a little baby 4-4 four, four elephant. I would like Vigilance, please. I think they're going to have Deafening Clarion. Nope. I don't think their aggro deck can play Deafening Clarion. Yeah, 9 power for 5 mana is a good exchange. So do I... They're potentially a... They're potentially a Settle the Wreckage deck. So I think I'm going to play Legion War Boss and then attack with like three tokens plus Chain Whirler here. Hey, what's going on, Frago? Thanks for the bits. Good luck in the rest of your games today. I feel like this puts on enough pressure and like doesn't play into Settle too, too badly. Actually, I'm just gonna let this happen, and then I'm gonna throw a goblin to finish this off. Maybe this attack is bad because it leaves them not quite dead. What's going on, DMS? I'm having a good morning. I've had a good set of good set of decks so far today. Man, I can't believe we could have won that first game if I'd have. If I'd have gotten Vigilance on that other card. Think I want Lava Coil? I guess the fact that they have the Elephant makes me feel a little bit differently. I think I'm just going to go ahead and run it back. I'm pretty happy with what we have there. This is going to be our last game with this goblin stack, and then we're gonna wrap things up with some green black elves before we're done for today. I like the Byron deck a lot. Just tempo, I feel like tempo decks in Magic are just one of the most unique style of decks that Magic has to offer. I'm gonna bottom a non-white source land there since we have plenty of red. I don't have any white cards yet, but I'd like to hedge towards having it. Yeah, Harry's, Harry's at 100. All right, now I just wouldn't mind drawing like two more lands. Just go like two, three, four, five. Just right on up the curve here. No turn two play from then is fantastic for us. Some interesting symmetry between Goblin, Cicator, and Hunted Witness here. Mine cost twice as much mana, but they basically trade for each other. Do you have a history of Benalia? You do not, deal. Great. War boss would like to give some orders here. Pop a little friend into play. Smash, smash, smash. This one has to attack anyway, so might as well send in the other goons as well. Sure. The Dauntless Bodyguard is not protecting anything anymore. Would like to draw Goblin Chain Whirler next turn, would be nice. See what they have this turn. We could potentially see the Loxodon come into play. Shall I? Man, this Flame Tongue Kavu is about to be very good. Deals damage equal to a creature, equal number of goblins we control. It's quite fantastic for us. That is an aggressive attack, but they are pretty far behind. If they hit a copy of... They have a copy of Lyra in their hand, we could be in trouble. But outside of Lyra, we're in a very good spot right now. To see reading better volley better in pause. Yeah, bye friendo. So we could have won that match 3-0 even. So red white goblins. 
I feel like my big takeaway from this was I just really don't know that the white cards were worth the splash. I felt like a lot of the powerful things we were doing just had to do with like the goblin synergy. And I feel like a lot of the places Radiant Destiny was good, just like playing Goblin Trash Master would also have been good, or like playing Vanquisher's Banner also would have been fine. So I feel like it might not be worth the inconsistency and in being able to cast your spells on time to like have this white splash in the, the red goblin aggro plan.